Hey, what's up, fan? This is Arun, and welcome to my channel for inspiration. Today, I will teach you how to blend and mix background with any image. So, I will show you. This is my original image, and this is the final result I got. Uh, I have add this background to this image. You can see. I will show you. Disable it. Now, this is the background, and I have blend this background with the this image. Oh, now this is the final result I got. So there are so many uh, things you have to understand, like uh, horizon and the direction of light. Always keep in mind that the direction of light it is very important. And if you blend any any background with uh, any image, you have to uh, work on the horizon also. It should be match in both image. So let's see how to get this type of work with. Photoshop CC. So, firstly, take your image, and this is my image. And uh, uh, by using this pen tool, I have cut out this uh, boy and girl. And then you can see if I enable this mask, this is the cutout I want. So, this is my background. I want to use this background for this manipulation work. So I will drag it to here, and I will disable it. Firstly, okay. Now Control T on the this background. And uh, this is the background I want to use, and uh, the light is coming from the left side of this image. So keep in mind all these things while doing any manipulation so this is my image i will go to edit then transform i want to transform horizontally now you can see the angle of this this is fine and uh, uh, two things keep in mind and uh, one is the direction of light and another one is the horizon where is the horizon in this image so you can see a horizon is here so i will i will put my background uh, exactly uh, now the horizon is showing in this image is here so i will adjust the horizon so that i can okay mm, i think this is the best position for it okay now go to this uh, mask tool Click on mask and uh, make sure you have choose this black. Then gradient black to transparent gradient I want. Okay, now apply and press shift on the keyboard. Okay, this is fine. Put it to background. Okay, now make another copy of this. Now make another copy of this. This is fine and uh, move it to the background. Delete this. Now I can grab the foreground area of this image from this layer. Okay. Now this is my image again. Control G. Uh, this is the process of uh, doing this work. And I will delete this layer mask and set its blending mode to multiply. Okay. Now this is the image I want to activate and uh, make a mask on this again and fill it with black by pressing control sorry hold backspace now I will apply a brush to recover the area of this hair portion so choose your brush tool and this is my brush tool I want very soft brush and this is the real secret of blending and I want white you can play in between these two colors now you can see very easily I can recover here now it is looking very realistic you can see it is looking very realistic
very nice very cool similarly here i can do the same thing make sure your brush should be very smooth okay now one uh, one problem i'm getting here is i am not able to blend this white area so how to fix that white area so white area i am getting from here and it's like this mask of this layer and apply a brush so i will remove this white area from this layer and uh, it will show you something like this and uh, okay this is fine little bit of white area I want to remove oh that's fine this is cool now you can see how very easily I blend it very easily I blend it now one thing I want to do okay select this area select this layer and go to this level I want to adjust the light of this layer as per my whole image okay now you can see now select this layer and i want to adjust the light of this background and i want to clip this i want effect of this level only to this layer so press alt on the keyboard then you will hover your mouse in between then you will get a down arrow then press it before and after before and after now the light is matching one important thing i want to add make in another layer and uh, choose your color from here uh, i want this color you can see this okay and i will choose this light color i will apply a brush here so that i can something like this i want mm, i will try which is the best blending mode for it so it gives you a very smooth result you can reduce the opacity now see that before and after very nice so in this way you can blend your image so i will merge all these layers by pressing ctrl shift alt e so i will work out on whole image now right click on here i want to make it smart object uh, the reason i have make it smart object because i want to do my work in a non-destructive way in the next tutorial i will teach you what is destructive way of editing and what is the non-destructive way of editing right and uh, go to filter then uh, nick software then color effects this is my favorite tool so because i want more more red shade of light now you can see before and after before and after very nice orange glow is coming by using this cross processing in cross processing i always use this last option uh, if you want to add some more effect then you can add more effect from here this is a cross processing i'm using this last option and the strength 42 i want and a little bit of opacity i have reduced this is the effect of this uh, i want this effect now click on ok now see that before and after okay i will show you the original image Now this is my original image and this is before original before so uh, i want to add some more effect to it uh, i want to increase the light from this direction so i will choose this grad filter and i will increase the opacity uh, sorry increase the exposure so
okay this is fine and a little bit of exposure i want to control from the bottom this is before and this is after so in this way you can blend your images with the background i hope you got the idea thank you friends keep watching arun's creation